I'm Chad Grigsby, and you're watching The Tour Life. Middle of Tennessee, uh, made it to Russ's house. This is going to be where we're camping out for the night. I'll show you. It's a pretty sweet little setup we got here. It is, Eric. You get to sleep in the back of the truck. Thank you. Uh, this is just, actually it's, you know, one of those whole barn slash house. Here's Russ's boat. Look how organized he is. I don't know if you guys like that. Super anal about it. Take a shower tonight. <laughs> Rod will be using at Smith Lake. Doesn't look like much on the way up. Perfect. Home sweet home. All it is. Butter Motel 6. Hey! Hey! Hey, hey yo! Good. Look at Miss Jessie just had a little litter of puppies for us. We're uh, stopping here at Prater's Barbecue. Anytown, USA. Oh, my buddy owns this place, and then we're meeting another buddy of mine at where we're staying. It's just been a long day, so we're turning this uh, FVP truck off and getting in here and eating some barbecue. All right, we get down here at Smith Lake on uh, Sunday. Practices Monday, Tuesday, and then we got our off day. We get out on the water and and kind of check it out. I've been here three or four times and I didn't really know what to expect. They're they're not moving up on the beds yet, but it's warming up, so I know it's a warming trend. Actually, the first place that I went into happened to be where I, I fished the majority of the tournament. I didn't spend you know both days there, but uh, caught a few cranking the first uh, morning and then. Caught some on a drop shot, caught some on a shaky head, caught some, you know, several different ways. So I didn't really piece it all together. I'm just fishing and trying the hundred rods that I have rigged up.
Sheesh. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push Dialed it in the last day of practice, went down a stretch of riprap and, and caught three pretty nice keepers on a crankbait. And You almost did it again. <laughs> Practice sucked. <laughs> it's really tough. I don't know. The water uh, water temps about started out about 50. Now we're up to about 54. So it's getting warmer every day. But man, it's tough. I mean, it's hard to get a limit. They you can't catch a 12 inch. You can't keep a 12 inch spot. Uh, they made it 15, so it makes it a little tougher. But we're gonna scrap around and see what we can do. We're uh, officially out of light so we are putting her on the trailer let's see what happens during the tournament you know we had a there's when you travel around as long as i have and and room with the guys i do you you meet people along the way and luckily we're some of these places we go to we had a, a free place to stay in a nice house and you know and we had basically i had made some stuff at the house and brought it with and the can cooker isn't good just for making, you know, stuff from scratch. Every night we put leftovers, like we had chili and we had, you know, all, whatever we made, meatballs, and I would just put it in the can cooker and turn it on low and warm it up and dinner's ready in like 20 minutes. It was, that thing is, it's pretty cool. You, you, need, to, you need to get one. I don't know if all you guys have one or not, but it's traveling what the what I do and if you go out at hunting camp or fish camp or wherever it's not really hard to cook with it you just turn it on and it warms everything up or if you want to cook from scratch there's 100 recipes in the on the website but man we use that thing every single night at this trip Time to cook the chicken. Well, sure beats the hotel room, huh? You know what, we could just we could get just temple and put over them racks and I got some keep them clean like right that. Yep, real crap. Okay. Thank you. 
Alabama, John Deere, Deer Horn. What more do you need? And then I just kind of kept an open mind and I started with the drop shot and then I threw a shaky head and then kind of started throwing the crankbait and the first day I, it just kind of, it was one of those deals where eh, the shaky head's not going, the drop shot's not going, but man I just caught a nice one on a crankbait so let's roll with this and, and I actually kind of figured it out as the day went on but the good thing the first day was the wind was blowing and that really helps on a clear lake like this. I, I know I was fishing stained water but it helps, uh, they bite a little better, they get more active, they're more aggressive. And when I finally got it kind of dialed in, and when you only get two days of practice, it's kind of hard to uh, put, a, put something together. I mean, it's, you gotta do it quick. So actually during the tournament, you learn what's going on and that's what I did the first day. And you know, luckily I have St. Croix rods and they're, you know, they're, their slogan is best rods on earth, but there's there's a reason why they say that because they are. And I was throwing the Legend Glass and then the, the Glass Mojo, uh, I was switching up between the two of them and man, when you get a, when you get a crankbait bite going, there's no better rod than that. It's just, it, you know, it bows up good, it's got good backbone, but it doesn't pull the hooks out.
It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. That was a big hit. It was a big hit. I don't know how. It was horrible. Day two here at Smith Lake. Okay, first day, nothing great, but you can't win the tournament on the first day, but you sure can lose it. And we didn't lose it, so I get a halfway decent bag today. Uh, you know, get me back in the mix, make the cut, and have another big bag. You know, the next day I could make the top ten, but we're just trying to get five. If we can get five, we're, uh, we're probably going to be all right. So we're going to try as hard as we can to find out. Stay tuned. I had my chances on day two. We go out, we head out, and uh, the first you know area that I go to, fish around, not really much, and then about a half hour in, I catch a, a, almost a three pounder. So things are looking up, and then uh, I lost one, and then. Later in the day, I, I caught another two and a half, and then... The, the, I, I'm not gonna say the wheels fell off. Golly, come off. But I went through a little stretch where I lost, you know, like three in a row. It's just one of those deals where I'm only getting five, six bites a day. And day two, I had six bites, and I only landed two of them. It's just one of those things. I can't even catch them in the live one. Huh? And, and I went in the clear water and, and experimented some things that, and it just didn't work out and I ended up, keep go, I kept going back to Clear Creek. And uh, you know, day two just, it just didn't pan out. I just, I lost a couple fish and you know, I'd be fishing on day three, but it is what it is. Made a little money and uh, we're gonna head back to the house. Where are we off to next? Uh, next tournament is uh, Murray, Lake Murray in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. So. I haven't been there in probably 10 or 12 years, so we'll see how that goes. It's another, it's pretty clear, like it used to have grass in it, I don't think it does anymore, so 